Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim or Kimberly Budgets here on YouTube and I am on a mission to be student debt free by 30 and make money moves in the process. Today we are going to be budgeting out my first paycheck of March. So if you wanna see that, definitely keep watching. I am going to be budgeting on my iPad today. If you watched a few videos ago, you know that I got a raise recently and I don't know how much my paycheck is going to be. So I don't wanna put it down in my budget book first. Um, before I know the amount I'll be paid. Y'all know my first step is to always look at my calendar to see what bills are coming out. Since I am one month ahead of my bills, I will be taking this step out of my process because I am pulling half the amount from my total monthly bills and contributing it to my bills envelope every single paycheck. So my paycheck date is going to be on March 11th. For my salary, this is just an estimated salary because I don't know how much I'm going to be paid. It's going to be around $2,617. And I get paid on a bi-weekly basis. And it's the same every two weeks. My savings and investments are largely the same except for the addition of my Roth IRA. For my house, I'm putting in my usual $80. My brother, I'm putting in my usual $50. and my parents, I am putting in the usual $50. My Roth IRA, to max it out, I have to contribute $246 every single paycheck for the rest of the year to hit that $6,000 max out. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Now totaling that up, my total is $426 for savings and investments. And my leftover is $2,000. $191. Moving on to expenses. Now, since I'm a month ahead, I'm going to be using my bills binder. So like I was saying before, I'm going to be contributing half the amount for my monthly bills each paycheck. So that is going to be around $312. So made a mistake. And shout out to Budgets by Jada, who taught me this trick with the Apple Pencil. To switch between the pen and the eraser, you just t double tap and it switches to the eraser. So, so that's super cool and really useful. So $312 to monthly bills. Invisalign is getting its regular $100 per paycheck. My annuals is getting $15. My annuals is just any kind of annual subscription or annual fee that I have to pay. And so that's around $15 per paycheck. Property taxes, I am giving $12 per paycheck. And this is for a once a year property tax bill on my car. Car insurance, um, since my dad retired, now I have to start paying car insurance every six months. It's around $500. So I am putting $40 from every paycheck towards saving up for my car insurance bill. And car registration, that will be around $10 per paycheck. Onto my spending envelopes. For spending, I'm giving myself the usual 40. Groceries, I am also giving myself the usual 80. Eating out, I'm giving myself 40. Entertainment, usual 40. Gas, so gas prices are insane as everyone has been commenting here in the budgeting community. So my little $40 is not going to cut it anymore. So I'm going to be putting in 20 more dollars this paycheck just so I can be squared away with how much I'll need for a full tank. Miscellaneous is giving its normal 200 and DoorDash is getting its normal 40. I'm having a hard time, honestly, uh, just to be fully transparent, staying within my DoorDash budget, but I really wanna try, um, I might, put more towards groceries and buying frozen foods and quick meals because I realize I really spend a lot of money on DoorDash when I don't have anything quick to eat and I'm really hungry. So trying to do better with my DoorDash budget, y'all. The total for this section is $949. And just seeing what I have left, I have $1,242 left. 
sinking funds, I am going to be sticking to my $300 budget for these. I considered raising this with my raise or putting more towards these with my raise, but I wanna see if I can just stick to what I have, trying to avoid lifestyle inflation as much as possible because y'all, every time I got a raise, I used to go shopping, I used to spend a lot of money, probably spend more money than the raise itself. And I'm really trying not to do that this time. Lifestyle creep is real. And I wanna try and stick to my regular 300 set aside for sinking funds. Um, so I'm just going to start with a few priority things. Kimberly Budgets, I wanna give it $50. I really wanna buy a laminator machine and start making my own cash envelopes. So I'm putting $50 aside for that. For personal, you know that's always a high priority for me. I wanna put $40 this time. Self-care, I'm going to be putting 30. Let's see, we have 180 left. And let me knock out the usual ones. Household, I always give five. Um, and birthday, I always give 10. Car maintenance, I am going to give 15 this time. Gifts, I'm going to give $40. Health, I'm going to give 25. We have $85 left to distribute. Clothing, I th think I'm going to give 25. Still wanna have some money for spring clothes. Beauty is going to get 35. And that leaves $25 for a new phone. So the total for my sinking funds is $300. And left over for my savings challenges, we have $942. Which is great. Student loan too. I'm, I just need $322 to pay it off. And then that's that, I'm on to loan three. 100 envelopes, I am going to be putting $99. 100 envelopes i took it on and i was like oh this is gonna be such a fun challenge and y'all these the nine the row of 90s is no joke so i'm trying to knock these out um, as soon as i can while i have some extra money i know i want to do one bag for luxury i know at the end i'm gonna have zero dollars 1k challenge i'm going to be giving it 100 dollars. well first i started it to save up for a vacation not really having anything in mind and then my mom randomly said one day do you want to go to the philippines um and of course i really want to go my mom is from the philippines i haven't been there in 15 years i haven't seen my family in 15 years so i really really want to go and so i am going to be using this 1k challenge to help save up for it. Obviously a thousand dollars is not enough to fly halfway across the world, but I think it's a start and we'll see if I can make it happen. Anyway, 942, just seeing how much I have left for loan three. Kind of sucks because I know that naturally means that other parts of my budget are going to be put on the back burner if I do end up going to the Philippines, but I don't want to miss out on an opportunity just because just because I don't want to set aside the money for it. Like I think experiences are really important, seeing your family is really important, so I do want to try and budget for it. Anyway, my total for my savings challenge, my priority savings challenge section is $913. And that should leave, yes, $29 for my luxury. And then obviously at the end, I have $0 left over. So my monthly bills, Invisalign, annuals, property taxes, car insurance, car reg, spending, groceries, eating out, entertainment, and gas are being pulled out in cash. Miscellaneous and DoorDash are 
staying in my bank account. All of my sinking funds are coming out. And then all of my savings challenges as well. So now that we have this figured out, we can move on to my cash breakdown sheet. This is a sheet I use to figure out which denominations I am going to ask for at the bank. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out um, and speed it up, enjoy the music, and we'll come back for the last step. And we are back for my very last step, which is to fill out my cash breakdown sticky note. I'm getting eight $100 bills, zero 50s. I'm trying to phase out using 50s because I just can't count them, y'all. So I am going to be using less of those. We're getting 29 20s. We're getting 15 10s, 10 fives, and 14 ones. So that amounts to so that amounts to one thousand five hundred ninety four dollars that we are taking out of the bank to stuff my cash envelopes. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video for my cash stuffing. Bye.